Hello again. Welcome to the second of my Grease Pencil introductory tutorials. Let's check our options first of all. Let's set continuous draw and let's set surface so that I know that my Grease Pencil strokes will uh, align with this plane here. Otherwise I won't know where they are in space all that well. Now let's go into Pencil. We've got the thickness set to 7. N, T to get rid of those two panels, D to initiate the um, grease pencil drawing tool. Let's try again. Okay, zooming in, once again we can see um, that up close my strokes don't look terribly smooth. But another thing that we can spot is that there is a variation not only in the thickness, you can see that this line up at the top is certainly thicker than this line down below. And also, if we zoom right in, can we see, I don't know if you can make that out, but as those two lines cross, you can see that they get darker. And that's because this line is not 100% opaque, slightly transparent. And that was because it is, I think the pencil mode is automatically um, recording the, the pressure with which I uh, press down on my Wacom tablet. So that's pencil. Now I've got those uh, two options panels closed. Um, but what if I just want to be able to make some quick adjustments on the fly? Um, I know that I've got an erase tool in there and a line tool and other things which I'll show you shortly but a very quick way of erasing is uh, whilst we are in the uh, whilst you've still got your little brush icon your grease pencil brush icon you can simply press down the uh, right mouse button and all being well this is live television there you go it's starting to erase and whilst you've got it pressed down Whilst you're pressing down on your Wacom, t Wacom tablet with the equivalent of your right mouse button clicked, you can also dial it down and dial it up using the numpad minus and numpad plus. Now you'll notice that it doesn't disappear straight away. There's a, there's a little bit of a lag and I believe that the um, eraser tool in Grease Pencil has a kind of a timer on it and it gradually gets rid it gradually reduces the opacity of your lines. Um, so that's that. Now, say you didn't want to have to open those panels over and over again. Let's just escape out of the Grease Pencil tool. I'm going to hold down the D key and I'm also going to press W. And that brings up this pie menu here. Now, say I wanted to change the color of this stroke on the fly, I've got that option here. I can come in here, um, mess around in the color picker here, and you can see that my stroke color is, is changing on the fly there. Again, hold down D and then click W. Uh, obviously, there's the uh, fill as well. Whoops. If you want to have a fill in there, you can do that. I'm not going to bother in this instance. What else is under the DW Pi menu? I believe we can, you can even, it looks as though you can swap. Does it? Does it? Let's have a look. Can we swap the tool on the fly? Yes, we can. Let's try the next one down, ink. That doesn't change the quality of the stroke that you've already drawn. But if I go back into Grease Pencil now, I presume, yeah, you can see that that's qualitatively different from uh, this pencil tool here. There's no change in the opacity there, but you can, if we zoom in, see that it's trying to change the thickness of it as I reduce the pressure um, on the Wacom tablet. Zooming out again. DW, DW. Of course, you have to escape from your, um, your ink, uh, your uh, grease pencil tool, unfortunately, to uh, initiate that menu. You've got control over the sensitivity, and I believe that means uh, the thickness, the variation in thickness according to pressure here. 
you can set on the right hand side whether uh, indeed these strokes are pressure sensitive. DW, I did press it then. It's a little bit tricky to, to use because once you've clicked something, it vanishes. So that's something to look out for. I think once you've got one option selected, then you can't go in and, and select anything else. Try again. D. Pressing down very hard now. Trying to reduce the pressure now. Okay. Perhaps my tablet isn't isn't the best at um, at providing a range in um, in pressure. Perhaps I need to upgrade. But you can see as I zoom in, there's a definite variation there. Let's just get rid of that whole layer. Um, whilst I'm here, DW. Ah, okay. So it's only after you've been drawing and there is a grease pencil layer available to you that you can use uh, the DW menu. So let's go back to making our little cloud character again. I'm going to press the D key and hold it down whilst I start drawing. Okay, once again here, I'm going to press control, get a straight line going on there, release control, and come back to completing the stroke. Um, right mouse button to erase that little part there. And let's see if we can get something. Try again. Approximating a little curve there. That'll do us. Okay. So, we, whoops, we've gone off the top of it a little bit there, but never mind. Okay, so if I open the N panel on the right, if I escape from my grease pencil tool, and I scroll down here amongst these uh, grease pencil color options, I believe, yes, there it is, there's an option, if I drag this over to the left, called volumetric strokes. Now, this operates differently depending on the quality of the line that you've got, whether it is a pencil that you've got selected or ink that you've got selected. And it also um, works best if you have a, the thickness of whichever tool you've got selected uh, to maximum. Okay, so I'm going to make a new color palette here with a plus sign. Um, the stroke is going to be, I'm going to make a nice white cloud. Uh, or maybe a grey, no, more or less white. Set the opacity to um, well, 0 0.9, that should do us. Let's set that to volumetric and let's draw this on a different layer. Okay, so following on from last week's tutorial, you'll remember that the layer stacking order is, if you're used to something like a photo editing app, it looks a little bit back to front. So uh, this layer is actually the top layer. So um, that's a bit of a gotcha. And if we want to do a fill behind this line, we'll have to move it back. So let's press this move up button here. Okay, and let's just rename this so we know where we're working. Name it to fill, name this to line. Okay, go back onto the fill layer. Let's check that we've got the correct tool here volumetric over here let's see what which tool we're in let's go into dw we are in the ink brush okay and um, let's get that set to maximum whoops again these are a little bit fiddly these pie menus um okay d tool let's see what happens Okay, this one is quite tricky to get used to. Um, you see a preview and then, as you just saw, you get this huge fill coming afterwards. The way that it works is it's, it's drawing lots and lots of circles. And I believe that the quicker you draw your line, um, the more space there is between the circles and also the more opacity, uh, the less opacity. So let's try again. Let's um, undo that. Let's do that much quicker. Okay, now same result. So let's 
let's have a crack at building up some opacity. Um, so let's turn that down to about half and DW let's turn that down to let's turn the thickness down to say five and try again holding down the D key okay so a little bit closer to what we might expect but again quite hard to predict where that's where that's going to go and also when it comes to erasing parts that seems a little bit hard to predict as well um, ah you saw there that it erased the um, uh, both layers so let's go back up to my grease pencil layers let's lock the line layer and let's come back and try and erase that again holding down the D key right mouse clicked okay so you can see it's sort of reducing the entire thickness of the thing it's 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 a it's a bit of a headache to get used to this one however with a bit of practice you can get some quite painterly results um, back into let's escape from my tool back into the pie menu we've got the stroke opacity set to 0.5 ish thickness set to 5 let's turn that let's turn that sensitivity no that's all right strength is set to 1 I believe strength is opacity so let's turn that down as well and see if that gives us any more joy okay holding down the D key okay let's turn the thickness back up again to 10 try and build up something of a cloud so you better not want to be accurate with this tool but very quickly you can build up uh, the kind of fill that you wouldn't be able to so easily by, by just using um, the ordinary fill you can if, if we turn the opacity of this layer down uh, which I believe we can do down here that's the fill layer there opacity control underneath if we turn the opacity of the entire layer down we can get more of an idea of how this tool is working so now um, we can really build up uh, layers of color let's make a new tool uh, sorry a new color palette I'm gonna make this one a bit darker something like a gray like that this one's also going to be volumetric and I'm gonna put this one on a separate layer just in case just in case I don't like it and we will bring it down below the line layer but on top of this white layer and we will turn the opacity of that one down to about half as well once again go into the grease pencil tool by holding down the D key and starting to draw Let's turn the opacity of that down even further. All right. So, a bit more painterly, a bit more fun you can have with a grease pencil tool. Next time, I'm going to talk about um, grease pencil edit mode and sculpting strokes, etc. See you then.